We begin with India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed in Tokyo this morning. This is his fifth visit in eight years. Tells you how much significance India attaches to its relationship with Japan. He'll be here for 40 hours. And in this time, he has some 23 engagements. So action-packed does not even begin to cover it. He's already met the Indian diaspora in Japan, also held a meeting with business leaders. Prime Minister Modi and U.S. President Joe Biden together attended the launch of the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. Later, the Indian Prime Minister also attended a business roundtable. There are great expectations from this visit, be it in terms of India-Japan ties or taking the Quad to the next level. We'll talk about all of this in detail. we we'll begin with the highlights of day one. विवेकानंद जी ने भारत के लोगों को कहा था कि भाई एक बार देखकर तो आओ जापान है कैसा उसी बात को उसी सद्भावना को आगे बढ़ाते हुए मैं कहना चाहूंगा कि जापान का हर युवा अपने जीवन में कम से कम एक बार भारत की यात्रा करे This was Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's message to the Indian community, brimming with pride as he ferried India's word to those living thousands of miles away from home. Prime Minister Modi's tour of Tokyo began with an interaction with tiny tots. Young fans gathered outside the Prime Minister's hotel, dressed in traditional attire waving the tricolor and holding placards written in Indian languages. A child impressed the Indian Prime Minister with his Hindi. The heartfelt welcome was emblematic of the deep cultural ties India shares with Japan. The reception the Prime Minister received from the Indian diaspora later in the evening was symbolic of India's growing soft power in the Asian country. A cacophony of claps, clicks, loud chants and cheers filled the hall as the Prime Minister walked to the podium to address hundreds who had gathered from across Tokyo and outside. The diaspora's enthusiasm impressed the Indian leader. हम कर्म भूमि से तन मन से जुड़ जाते हैं, खप जाते हैं, लेकिन मात्र भूमि के जो जड़ों से जुड़ाव है, उससे कभी दूरी नहीं बनने देते हैं. The Prime Minister's address to the Indian community was straight from the heart. He spoke about New India and its place in the world. Prime Minister Modi recapped how Indian solutions have been solving global problems. दवाएं भेजी जब वैक्सीन्स अवेलेबल हुई तो भारत ने मेड इन इंडिया वैक्सीन्स अपने करोड़ों नागरिकों को भी और दुनिया के दुनिया के सौ से अधिक देशों को भी भेजी The Prime Minister also spoke about India's contribution to climate action and a green future. He stressed on the need for a stable, trusted global supply chain. Almost every sentence was followed by thunderous rounds of applause. Every mention of India's success was followed by cheers and chants. Bharat ka banking system in muskiyat haalat mein bhi 
निरंतर चलता रहा और उसका एक कारण भारत में जो डिजिटल रिवॉल्यूशन आया है पूरे विश्व में जितना भी डिजिटल ट्रांजैक्शन होता है उसमें से 40 प्रतिशत अकेले भारत में होता है The Prime Minister also spoke about India's democracy and its dreams of expanding global footprint. आजादी के सौवे वर्ष तक हिंदुस्तान को हमें कहां पहुंचाना है किस ऊंचाई को प्राप्त करना है विश्व में हमारे झंडा कहां कहां कैसे कैसे गाड़ना है आज हिंदुस्तान उस रोड मैप तैयार करने पर लगा हुआ है All in all, the Prime Minister's meeting with the diaspora was headlined by hearty laughters, claps and tales of India's growth. The mood in the room was one of trust. Trust in India's growth in the India-Japan relationship and the Indian leadership. Some 40,000 Indians live and work in Japan. Most stay in Tokyo. Many work as IT professionals and engineers in both Japanese and Indian firms. The Indian diaspora is also engaged in the management, finance, education and research sector. The Prime Minister had set the stage for this interaction with the Indian community and the Quad leaders by penning down an op-ed in a local paper. This is the Japan Times. I have today's copy with me, and uh, two full pages dedicated to the Indian Prime Minister's special visit. This is what it says here: Indian Prime Minister's uh, visit special, and this is a, a, a full write-up by the Indian Ambassador to Japan, Sanjay Kumar Verma, and there are some ads welcoming the Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Verma, of course, uh, recounting uh, of how this relationship has gone from strength, strength to strength, uh, and then we have uh, a write-up by. Uh, Mr. Hira, he is the chairman of the India uh, Commerce and Industry Association, Japan, and he has spoken about Prime Minister Modi's method. The Prime Minister himself has also penned uh, uh, a write-up in a local newspaper, and I have a soft copy with me. And he basically talks about uh, his relationship with Japan when he was uh, the Chief Minister of Gujarat, how he found the Japanese to be very committed to the cause of development, and how he built that relationship. And then he goes on to talk about uh, the Indo-Pacific, uh, about the Quad. Um, and he says, uh, and I'm quoting here, the two democracies are strategically located in the Indo-Pacific region and uh, can be important pillars of a stable and secure region. So the messaging is all there in the right direction. As preparations continue for the Quad meeting and the various bilaterals on the sideline, India has already set the mood for the summit. It is one of trust and progress. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.